I'm excited about this. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Another gift from Brendan Kite, the Titan of Whiskey. <laughs> Look, we've got, just so you know, I'm gonna give you a heads up. Okay, so Brendan showed up with the group to do a tasting. Right. Right, he's already a titan before he got here. Right. He brought four boxes of whiskey with him. Daniel in the distance. Peter. Outside. Definitely here. Could it be? It definitely is. We, we've established clearly. It's definitely Brennan. Cut. and bastards. <laughs> so many whiskeys. Okay. This is, so I stumbled onto Dunville Irish whiskey. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something about this one. I stumbled on Dunville PX. 10 year old Dunville PX. Belfast, right? Yeah. Northern Ireland distillery. Sourcing stuff originally. I loved it. The yes. PX finished Irish whiskey. Sure. Dunville became one of my go-to favorite Hard to find. Now you can actually get it pretty easily, okay. um, which is great, great news. This is their triple crown, which they, rev or three crown, they revived a brand that was over a hundred years old and that kind of went up upside down. In name or style, mash it, bill? Both. Both? Name and flavor profile. Oh. But then they also did this version of it. The Is this pe a peated Irish? <laughs> Hell yeah. Right, one of the only, th I think, three in Ireland that's currently so a peated there's, whiskey. So there's Connemara. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the other one is. Okay. Is it Kilbake? No, it's not. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. I so did my job for remembering They're now, no, I looked it up, but it was hard to track down. Is this, uh, is this pot still? Because mm -hmm. that's a big old so pot still. So this is still. Eckenville Distillery. It's the first revival of a distillery in Northern Ireland in yeah. ages. Um, as in like... Ooh. 100 plus years. Oh. Not, I mean, first license of craft, right? So if you got, uh, I don't know what's in this. Okay. And I don't know if they peated the grain because when I was doing all the research for it, okay. what they said is this is the same as their triple crown, which was a four-year-old grain, a 10-year-old malt, and a 15-year-old sherry cask finished. Okay. Right? And then they finished some of these in Isla barrels. Oh, so it could be okay. that they just like brought on the peat accent from the aging. So not necessarily peat Pete smoked, mall, right. peat smoked the barley. But I don't know that to be true. I just couldn't find anything so either way. Let, at first glance, at first nosing, I don't this smell is, any peat smoke. You, you say peat and you yeah. think, oh, like smoky scotch. Mm -hmm. nope. nope, different, different type of deal. Not nearly as much smoky, briny, earthy character. What I am getting on the nose that is a little reminiscent of that is almost like um, like a faint campfire in the distance. I'm getting a salted caramel. A salted caramel? Like sea salt A caramel? caramel. Oh, the more I go back to it, it starts to uncover a little bit of earthiness, actually. Yeah. But it's not like a really forward peat like you find. And this is almost power suggestion. Like, if you just told me this is an Irish whiskey, I would think this is a heavy Irish whiskey, so it's probably malt. Keep going back, because every time I've gone back, I find a little bit more earthiness, a little bit more of what has to be that peat element. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to go on if I would have guessed it, and I don't think I would. I think I would have just said this is a really hefty pot still Irish. See, I'm thinking recognizable peat. Am I able to recognize peat now? And at first approach, it was like, man, I'm just getting like this really rich, rich multi sweetness. Keep going back, keep going back, and I'm getting more and more earthiness every there time. It is. And the palate, it shows up as white smoke, for lack of a better term. White, watery smoke. Oh, yeah. This is the proof. On kinda... top of this like fruity caramel. Is note. the proof kind of low? Yeah, it is. 43.5%. Yeah. So there's a like a really light fruit note mm -hmm. and a little bit of that pot still kind of and then malt there's and like then a, there's this a, ashy it's like a watery nuttiness water. watery nuttiness and ashiness on that finish there. This is okay. It is I wish cuz th this there's a lot of things going on in this whiskey. Yeah. And at 43 point whatever percent, it's not giving me everything this whiskey wants to give me, but I really do like 
how different of an angle this is on what most Irish bottlings are right now. I do too. Now, I want to show you the Dunville I fell in love with. 10-year-old PX. Ooh. Because see, wait, see, this is unpeated, but see how hefty and malt and like grainy it is, grain heavy it is? I'm almost getting like a, like a rum sweetness on top of that. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. See, these guys yeah, no. are not making boring. This is like, not, this. these whiskeys have The weight. one you just pulled out. The, yeah. The, yeah. This is very, very present. Very, very lively. Mm -hmm. Bunch of flavors. Springing. Still only 46. This is only 46? Yes. It feels like so much bigger of a leap in proof I than know. this one. This, I like the hell out of the idea and the, the, the glimmerings. The glimmer that this wants to be, that's very exciting, but what it is, it's like, ugh, it Makes wants, it's like I'm, I'm, it's like I'm seeing like this beautiful painting mm. through uh, a frosted window pane. It makes me think that the grain they blended into this thing sort of washed out some of the uh, flavor profile. And if you do the AB now, mm -hmm. the peat I element did. is much more apparent. It is, it yeah. is. Uh, even more so in the taste. Mm -hmm. Now I will tell you, like the hell out of that. Oh yeah. I mean, I would absolutely keep that in my house as that like would, an interesting Irish whiskey an, that no one would expect. An interesting Irish whiskey, um, a nice neat pour to mix it up. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty certain though, this is the kind of whiskey that would just evaporate into nothing if you put some ice in it. I have an ice over there. Your Listen, ice had... No, it's clean ice. Look, it's clean That's ice. clean? Yeah. I'm not buying it. I'm not selling it. I'm telling you. <laughs> that was such a fast response. <laughs> you. <laughs> I love this bottle. I, I like. I really like this bottle. Yeah, you always like chodes. I, I do. I love those chodes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like this is old school looking. <laughs> that reminds me of an episode that we haven't released. We shot it ages ago with um, Jared. <laughs> oh, and yeah. I told him the Balconis bottle looks like a chode. <laughs> He's he's good at straight face, like you're not you're not knowing what's going on, or if uh, he's amused or not. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. Yeah. I'm coming back to it. This, and is, I'm, this is not an on the rocks pour. The more I sip it neat, the more I like it. The yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Now I still like this one better. I would agree. Just as they are out of the bottle, this has a lot more life and flavor and richness. Yeah. But in terms of just a funky, interesting, cool angle, I, I, I wish more Irish distilleries were playing around with peat. Mm -hmm. Because the, the, it's the, coming. I, I, I know of several craft guys that are okay. in Ireland that are working on it. Because the very few examples that we've had, it's like, oh, it's really nice. It's, and it's always different than a scotch peat. Mm -hmm. But you and I like the smokiness. We have, if you like peat in Irish whiskey, stay tuned. Just say the damn name. No, we can't. I can't. I can't. I, I can. They specifically asked us to not. But I tell me. <laughs> nope. They didn't ask me. Nope. Tell me. Nope. It's gonna be Daniel, awesome. Daniel, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's space side. Oh, yeah. it's a space side. Yeah. Okay. That's the Irish space the side. Irish space side. It's the space side region of Ireland. Most beautiful part of Ireland. Yeah. Space side. Uh, what we got South here? We got. Uh, we got uh, Jake. Oh, Brokta, Brokta. I feel like there should be a different kind of animation. Rex and Daniel forget to MB like a Game of Thrones shame effect on them. Do we? We don't. We don't do it very often. Do we? We, we fix it. We fix it later. Yeah. Yeah. We fix it later. Shame. It's the. Did you ever watch Game of Thrones? No. It's too violent. So this is what I'm gonna get the bell, and you're gonna strip down naked. <laughs> I already don't like this. <laughs> Although if I had to pick. I would prefer me being naked to you being naked while I'm standing next to you. I'll meet you halfway. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's naked. <laughs> Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your life. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. The bottle lord. Huh? <laughs> Who's the bottle lord? Today's bottle lord is. Are you ready? Yes. Where well, I can't find it. Robert Garrow! Come on, Lord.